five, four, three, two, one. Happy holidays! Have you ever wondered what goes into putting together this mass production? Well, it all starts with this lady and her team. I'm Rachel Sanders, and thanks for watching Go Gwinnett's. It is officially the most wonderful time of the year now that Gwinnett County's great tree has been lit. But have you ever wondered what happens behind the scenes to make this holiday tradition come to life? Well, here's that story. Community Service Manager Tina Pangle says the preparation for Gwinnett's tree lighting starts a lot sooner than you think. We start preparing for the tree the day after Thanksgiving. With all great preparation, it starts with a little online shopping. The person that took the picture of this tree, his name was Troy, which is why we've named this tree Troy this year. And so our guys here from Parks and Rec uh, grounds go up to uh, Sugar Mountain, North Carolina to get the tree. When our flatbed truck gets there, they have a crane there that picks it up, puts it on our flatbed truck, and the guys bring it right back. Beginning before the crack of dawn, Gwinnett County's hand-selected tree makes its way through downtown Lawrenceville. And then the next morning at 6 o'clock in the morning, we shut down the road out here and have the tree hoisted up by crane and put on our tree out here. So we all know the big question is, exactly how many lights and ornaments does it take to decorate this tree? There are about 20,000 lights on the tree. Um, and we usually have about two to 300 ornaments. This year we'll probably have closer to 200 than 300. We usually have six to eight people every day out here starting the 1st of November, putting the lights on the tree and then putting the ornaments on the tree. And it usually, depending on weather, um, it's every day during the week. Once the tree is lit, we start allowing people to sign up to have their own personal photo sessions inside the facility. As Tina said, the Gwinnett tree will be up until the end of the year. And while you're visiting the historic courthouse, pop in to check out the beautifully decorated trees and book a free appointment photo shoot for you and your family. There are so many family-friendly activities for you and yours right here in Gwinnett County. Check out the events calendar at GwinnettCounty.com for a list of holiday festivities. I'm Rachel Sanders and happy holidays.